Who? Good morning, everyone. What up? Busy, 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 busy day. Busy morning. Where do we start at? I guess we'll start with uh, U O N E U. U O N E. U O N E. U O N E. You only know. Okay. You only okay. That's what. Right now I'm currently uh, boxed in. I'm short from six dollars, and then I longed it at five oh eight. So I'll risk five with my long. And really, what I'm looking to do is, for a bounce, I'm looking to re-add to my short into a bounce. And then fade it down. So yesterday, I am so, 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 so happy. I didn't get stubborn yesterday. And Jonathan, that book is great, dude. I love that book, Trading in the Zone. That's a good book. Thank you for recommending that book. I really like that book. Um, but yesterday... I was trading, oh man, I nailed U-O-N-E, uh, the original, yesterday, but I fucked it up really bad. So, the first day, let me pull up the five minute chart, uh, let's see here, here's the price action. So, I dip bought it twice into the close, day before yesterday, I got some at 12.60 and then I got more yesterday morning at 1060 and then when it went green on the day and it pulled back i almost added some more at 11 but it didn't and then it just took off it took off and i was out at around 16 i sold some at like 14 and it sold the rest of it at 16 and then it goes to fucking 54 dollars i don't know why i didn't hold uh, and I really screwed up yesterday as I tried shorting the front side of the move. I tried shorting um, up here at 20. I mean, I I actually on my first short, I actually made a little bit. But then, and then I tried shorting again at 24 and it, uh, it squeezed me. And when it broke 30, I got out. Thankfully, I had small size. So it was really annoying. I wish I would, you know, there was nothing that told me to get out of the long. I mean, if you look at this chart, it says nothing but long on it the whole way. I mean, look at it. It just stays with VWAP, stays over VWAP all day long. So I should have been, I should have stayed long the entire day. But of course, I stepped in front of the front side of the move. I got smacked down, but I didn't get stubborn with it. That's what I'm most happy about because I didn't risk disaster. Because if I would have held overnight, I would it would have been disaster. Um, and really, honestly, you know, I took some profits down here at 20. Whenever it came down to 20, I didn't take it all off. And I wish I would have won it. Because I was thinking that, man, this VWAP, I think this is going to hold. And really, normally, if this would have been like day two of the move, I probably would have longed it here. In fact, I did long it. Exact same setup on day two. I did long it. So look at day two, a spike up, pull back, it holds a VWAP. I longed it off of this at 13 and I caught a squeeze. Uh, I think I was selling at around 17. Of course, again, I sold too early, but whatever. And that one went to 40. Um, then fast forward today, yesterday I was thinking, man, this, this is looking, I think this is gonna hold and it held. I just couldn't I just couldn't find it in me to long it because it was up so much. Which is fine. But at least I had the uh at least I got out. Cause look at this. Now, this morning, you and EK, I get a I get a text from Henry telling me that he's long or that he had just sold you you and EK at uh at six and i'm like oh shit this is gapping up to six i'm just rolling out of the bed so the first thing i did was i popped on a short actually i misspoke my short is at 631 six dollars and 31 cents i knew 
that this was moving into previous resistance from the day before or from a couple days ago. And so you see this resistance zone. I'd already kind of knew the chart in my head. So from my phone, I snagged some share short. I covered half of it already um, down at 575. And then now I'm holding the rest. Oop, it's actually dipping below five right now. I should probably sell my long. But we'll hold for a second and see what happens. Because I think this is going to have a, some type of bounce in it. And into that bounce, I'm going to sell my long and I'm going to short some more. So that's the plan with me. Um, another one to think that's going bananas is Cohen. Look at this one. This one's one of those annoying ones that just gets halted every two minutes. So this morning it's gapping up huge. Uh, Henry, you're long from seven dollars fifteen cents. You, you hear how proud he was when he said that? <laughs> I only have twenty shares, but I'm stubborn. I held it for all week. And I've got a sell sell order in for forty seven dollars. It's it's like it's like I just asked him how big his penis was. And he's all proud to tell me. Don't you're stubborn because I look back at my chart on June fifteenth. I had two hundred shares of U O N E at five dollars and fifteen cents, and I was happy when I sold at nine dollars. Wow. If I'd held them all week, and some lucky reason sold this morning at fifty dollars it made ten grand <laughs> yeah so, you know, i mean so yesterday like, you know what i'm gonna just hold these 20 shares and see if i can get over 40 bucks it's already you know up what's it up 190 percent today who knows it could squeeze the 40 bucks so Wish me luck. henry's calling 40 dollars on cohen I mean, I don't think it's going to go back down to my 7.15 today, so I think I'm just going to hold it and see what it does today and maybe hold it into a Monday. Maybe hold it into a Monday. I mean, I could sell right now and be up like 400 and some bucks on it, but I'm, I'm going to be greedy with it. <laughs> um, couple yeah, I sold, I bought the U, U, uh, U-O-N-E-K this morning, 475, sold it at 6. Um... I'm long again, BYFC. I bought it this morning at 380. It wasn't going my way, so I got out, but I just got back in a little bit ago at 350, and it's squeezing now, approaching four. You, that, you said BYFC? Yeah. Let me pull up the chart on that one. All right, so say that again. Uh, well, I bought it when it was consolidating in the 380s. I sold some into that, pushed to four, and then it started dying off, so I dumped it. And then it started coming back here now, so I got back in a few minutes ago at 3.50. Mm, okay. And that's all I got. Uh, APT squeezing yesterday. Now yeah, you said you nailed that? Uh, yesterday in the afternoon. Um, Dude, I'm so mad because I seen this BYFC last night after hours, and I almost bought it. See that ramp up right there at the end? A dollar ninety-eight. I was watching it. I'm like, eh. and then I went and took a shower, and it was already up over two fifty. And I'm like, fudge. And the market. It was about seven o'clock, and I almost bought it, and I didn't. So mad. Oh well. Wow! Look at that. Yeah, that was. Because on the Weeble, there was five of them. I was watching last night after hours. And I did buy two, and they didn't do anything, so I got rid of them this morning. And this one I missed out on. For those of you don't know, for those of you don't know, Henry is the uh, pre-market and after-hours king. He loves the pre-market and he loves the after-hours, don't you, Henry? It's where I honestly make most of my money. Yeah, there's a he, he's definitely. I can't trade during the He's he's found an edge in the pre-market and the after-hours. I got man, I just can't get up early enough. Good morning. Man, I can't. I can't sleep. I can't wait to get up. <sighs> Boom, Cohen, almost twenty four. Squeeze, bitch. Wow. Let's see what the float on Cohen is. I have trade ideas has six hundred and sixty nine thousand. Well, 
with that low of a float, I could see how you would think that Cohen is uh could go to. Why can't it do what you one did? Yeah, yeah. You're with that low of a float. I could definitely see that. I mean, it could go. It could go to a hundred with that kind if, of a float. If it does, I mean, that would be my best trade ever on such a low position. <laughs> I have decided though going forward when we get big runners like that you know they squeeze up and then they crash or whatever I'm going to hold 10 you know a small amount of shares you know because if you look back on multiple stocks I mean I don't know all the tickers but like I said they have a big run up they sell off for a couple days and then they squeeze again you know so Definitely going to be something I'm going to study. See, okay, so we got eight minutes till the open. Uh, good morning, D22. Good morning, Jonathan. Good, good morning, Palkesh. Good morning, Bayan. Good morning, Matt. Hopefully, you guys, anybody catch uh, some uh, UNAO this week? Jonathan, Nate had a Nate from Investors Underground had an average of eight fifty for what stock? Uh, Cohen. Oh, nice. He called it in his um, in his pre market broadcast. He basically called Cohen his, the trade of the year for him. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yesterday, if I would have held my UNEO, it would have been the trade of the year for me, actually. But I didn't hold. I got out too fast. Story of my life. But I at least I saw the setup though. I saw the sell off. I even, you know, I told I told Henry, I told Matt, I'm I'm buying this at this price, and I knew it was gonna bounce. I just yeah, didn't. You're trying to get an eleven at one point, I remember. Yeah, I got it at twelve, twelve sixty, and then I got it at ten sixty, and then I almost added some at eleven, and then, but I didn't, and it just kept, yeah, and it went when it went green on the day. I should have been adding when it went green on the day. That's when the move really started taking off. So, but I mean, whatever. Uh, next time. I just sometimes when the stocks are squeezing, you know, sometimes whenever you see a stock moving, it's going up, 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 and you see the profits in your P&L, and then there's times whenever you'll see the profits and you don't take them, and all of a sudden it just slams down and it doesn't ever come back. And yeah, it's painful too. Yeah, so that 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 feeling, it's like I'm just trying to avoid that feeling. You know, I, I it's, it's nothing. It hurts. I feel like it hurts worse to turn. A winner into a loser as opposed of just losing right out. You know, it's more painful to me. But and that's why I like next time I do it, like like I said, I only held twenty shares with such a low average that like Just to see what happens, just to stay involved. Just to see. I would never hold hundred you know, hundreds of shares, obviously, but why not ten shares that could you know a hundred and forty dollar position, <laughs> you know what I mean? Twenty shares at seven dollars. One hundred and forty dollar position. <sighs> so hope everybody made some money this week. Um, you hope everybody made some money this week. I'm finishing the week green. I should be finishing the week with like a new car or uh, a new Tesla, but instead I'm. Finishing with a, I'm finishing the week with like a, Honda Civic, with like a shitty used, uh, uh, 2002, uh, Toyota Tacoma. Hey, so two <laughs> I did watch from last night, the two I missed out on, which I think have a potential to run today if you want to look at them quick. Let's do it. C H C I. CHCI. Closed at 230. It squeezed to 560. Cheesy. Cheesy, yep. The reason I like it because it, I mean, it pulled back, but it's still like that 50% pullback and it's holding kind of, sort of, above 330, 340. So if that gets volume, that could have a potential to squeeze. Man, look at look at every time it spikes. I know. I'm Fail. Just saying. I'm 
I'm not buying. I'm watching it. And then the other one's D Y N T. D Y N T. I did buy this one yesterday at a dollar, and I sold. A lot of volume yesterday. Yeah, I sold there in the one twenties when it wasn't really wasn't really going up. It was just kind of stagnant. I'm like, yeah, this thing's gonna probably just gap down tomorrow. But you didn't. It gapped up a little bit, but it's down right now. But I'd still be up if I would have held. But so I'm watching that in case that starts to make a run. You covering your you on K? No, I'm selling my long. I had a. Uh... I added down here into this dip. It's taking me forever to sell it though. I added on this dip and then I got my average up uh, to 493. So I sold my long because this thing is showing zero signs of life. So I didn't want to lose any money on the long. I probably should cover my, I could cover my short on my unit and K and just be finished for the day. But... I'm greedy. Yeah, I made my daily go and I made up for I was I ended up losing like two hundred bucks yesterday, so I made that back, so I'm pretty much sitting on my hands unless something spectacular shows up. You know, Jonathan, I love Tacomas, man. I've actually owned uh three of them. Um I've owned three Tacomas, but my last one I had to sell because when I had my first kid I couldn't fit a baby seat in it. Because it's extended cab and not double cab. So I had to sell my Tacoma. And then of course my wife picks out a super expensive SUV. And then I get to drive her shitty car. At least it in my own minivan. Okay, welcome to marriage. But I tell you what though. I just told my wife a couple of weeks ago. I'm trading in your shitty car. And I'm getting a fucking new Tacoma. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna wire out some profits from the old trading account soon, and and I'm gonna fucking get me a get me a new double cab Tacoma. It's coming. Probably shouldn't have sold all my long on my UNK, but that's all right. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. So you gonna short Cohen? Uh, no, I'm not. It's pro dude. There's no way that there's any shares to short on that thing. And no, I'm not gonna short Cohen. I'm just gonna watch it. I'm just gonna watch, okay? I'm gonna be a voyeur. A voyeur. Yeah, I got the audio book, Jonathan, on that. Uh, Five I got. Seconds. Nope. We'll talk about this in a second. APT hitting high day scanner. Carve is another one we didn't talk about. Carve's gapping up. Didn't. There's so many. There's so many plays that it's you just can't even keep up with them. Yeah. And we're getting more downside on Unity K. Man, I gotta take some profits down here. I mean, Jesus Christ. Oops, I accidentally bought it. I meant to cover. In fact, I am going to buy it, though. We'll buy a little bit. I'll dabble, okay? Dabble. As Henry says. Bought some more. You and any okay? So right now, my average on my long is 472. And we're getting a bounce. And I'm going to short the fuck out of this bounce. Carve is spiking. Up to the 1630s, up to pre-market resistance. Cohen... 
Man, Cohen's holding 20 strong. Mmm, getting a nice bounce out of you and you're okay. Wish I had more shares. Mmm, 520s. Where do I add it? Oh, it got halted. Uni OK just got halted on the long. What are you excited about, Henry? Look at my BYFC. I was about to say BYFC hitting high day scanner. Henry was long Henry was long from 350, correct? Yep. Got halted at 475. Hell yeah. Henry sounded like a Christmas like a like a ten year old at Christmas just now. Hell yeah, I got a new bike. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Henry. You know what? Henry's success is my success. Actually, anyone's success is my success. I'm a firm believer that if everyone around you is doing well, that then you're more likely going to be doing well yourself. Definitely owe a lot of my success to you. You taught me a lot over the last six months. Oh my God, Henry! It. Thank you. I feel like we're having a moment here. Jeez, if you were here right now, I would, I would say, stop being a fag, dude. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, Henry. Thank you. That's, oh, my heart is filled with warmth and love right now. I feel great. That was that was a good compliment, Henry. It was a genuinely that was a nice compliment. It's been fun. It's been a good road. Okay. It's only gonna get better. Damn fucking right. You ain't fucking lying. Ugh. It's been a. Yeah, only gonna get better. Oh, and Henry got a job. Henry said, "I can't. Oh, yeah. I got too much spare time." So I gotta do something I'm else. So, I'm so bored. Yeah. Which is, yeah, you need to fill the time with something. Especially, I mean, really, most of the time by pre-market, by the time the market opens, Henry actually is most of the time done. But he hangs out, and we stick around, and we... Degener it's good to get the screen time, though, to get that in. Yeah, but we do the... Degen a lot. Yeah, degen the shit up. Overtrade. Yeah, I'm up. I'm up. I'm an overtrade. So, BYFC halted. Uh, of course, that freaking piece of shit AEMD squeezing now. Had that yesterday. Ooh, AEMD. That was the one I was thinking about. I forgot. Ah, uh, that one. Yesterday. Squeeze. It's over $3. Is it going to go? No. I. See, this is where we degen yesterday. Traded it four times, and <laughs> yeah, this one yesterday. If it wouldn't have been for this stock yesterday, I would have. I got too many shares too early, long, and if it wouldn't have been for this stock, I would have. I would. I would have ended up green on the day, but I ended up red yesterday because of this fucker. I started out the morning in a big hole, then dug my way out with my UNEO, and then I went back in with my short. So, uh, CIDM red despite good news shows how valued this sector is. That was a Tim Sykes comment. Stupid LMFAs moving again today too. That piece of crap. LMFA. Well, I guess I made some money on it, but it didn't go like I wanted it to. That's halted on the way up. Oh no, it's not. It's just squeezing. LMFA. Oh man, this one. Oh, I tried dip buying this the other day, and that didn't end well. Yeah. That big sell off. Woo! I. You know what? Thank God though, I cut the loss. You know, I tried uh, buying it on the pullback at VWAP in like the three sixties, and I actually didn't get out till like the three twenties. And I took a lot of shares, but it was painful to cut, but <laughs> faded all the way Damn, down to the one twenty. Squeezing again too. Carve? Yeah, remember I texted you this morning? Yeah. 
Well, something. It's over. Yeah, there it is. Gone. Yep, touch 17.50, and now it's pulling back a little bit. So I changed my trading office. I used to be down in the living room, but I moved it to one of the bedrooms. So I haven't been reading my book out a little bit. So this is a good one for the short sellers. Remember my book that sits on the toilet that gives us quotes? Oh, we're opening. You any okay? So I got to find out where I'm going to short this thing. Ooh, my long's working out great. I probably should sell some of this actually into this squeeze. BYC is open too. It's over 520. Squeeze, bitch. All right, so. selling some into this push. Actually, I might hold it. I think it's going to get halted again. I'm going to chill on that one a little bit. All right. I tried to short some more uni. Okay. At, oop, I got it. I got some at 540. So now my new average on uni. Okay. Is 573 on my short. And I got another order to add at 573. Probably should move that up. BYFC is over $6. BY. Look at that. Squeeze, bitch. BYFC. It's going to get halted if you want to get in. Uh, I'm Right now, I'm focused on UNI OK, but um, I definitely got it up on a chart here. Wow. Up at six. Damn, Henry. Have you sold any yet? Yeah. Jeez. Nice play, man. Excellent play. Oh, slap down. Slap down. Come on, get bought up. Yeah, I sold some of that push to six. I only got 60 shares left, so. With an average of $3.50. All right, I'm out of my long completely on UNE OK. I sold at 550 and 540. And now I'm just going to look to scale into the short some more. Probably go up to yeah. six. Wow. Nice tra trade on that. 350. Man. BYFC. Hard, though. It's probably going to get halted on the way down. Damn it. Five. Come B -Y -F -C. on. Squeeze one, Squeeze one more time. So those of you are oh C C O H N hiding hitting high day scanner. You still got some shares of that too, don't you, Henry? Yeah, twenty shares from seven dollars fifteen cents. Ooh, you and EOK halted on the way down. Man, I wanted to get more ads, but I thought it was gonna get go go up towards six more. But at least I got an ad in it, in it around five. I think I got it at five forty-five. What did that price did I get it at? I got it at. So I'll short 544 is what I got my ad in at. Damn, halted all the way down. Man, I wish I had more shares. Ugh. Whew, a lot of volatility today, man. All you gotta do is get on the right side of one of these and you're in. When I tried to buy UFC at pre-market, it said I had to call my broker, missed out. Oh my God, it's one of those. It's one of those. Yeah, uh, E-Trade will occasionally have a ticker where it won't let you trade it from like the E-Trade Pro, Pro platform. You have to call in the order and it's super annoying. 
And for some reason, it feels like every time one of those tickers pops up, it's like a really good opportunity. So yeah, we got some has that once in a while too. We got several stocks halted right now, don't we? Or is, or is my computer just halted? No, I think there's probably some. I just I, there's so much moving, I can't keep up with them jumping around. Is Cohen is Cohen Cohen's halted? Cohen's halted. Carve is halted. U O N E K is halted. U O N E is halted. Is the whole stock market halted? No. I mean, I expect Cohen to pull back, but... Okay, yeah, I guess I see stuff moving. That's weird. SHLL is a top percent gainer. FMCI, top percent gainer today. What's Neat been doing? I haven't looked at that one a couple days. Well, that squeaked yesterday, but it pulled back. I actually noticed that. I had a alert set. Are you getting a waiting for data sign on your chart when you... Cause... Uh, not yet. So, hopefully... Uh-oh. Could not add simple. Okay. Come on. Uh, Carve is giving it up quick. Ooh, big dump from 17 all the way down to 13.34. Meanwhile, my Thinkorswim software is glitching right now. I got no software Thinkorswim. Bummer. BBGI hitting high day scanner. Meh. Man, this Cohen is a monster. Jesus. All the way from four dollars to twenty. Man, you know, I don't mind if it pulls back and consolidates and then makes another run. Yeah, of course you don't mind that, Henry. <laughs> no, he'd be mad about that. Damn it. Why does it keep going up? <clears throat> yes, my chart's waiting. Do you have Thinkorswim, Matt, or do you have uh, E-Trade Pro? Oh, there you go. My, my chart's back up now. Well, I mean, I'm not going to trade anymore today. I, I, I already, I mean, I could, I'm, I'm still working on a winner with UNOEK and I've already locked in over a thousand in profits uh, from my short and my long. So, and I'm still got a winner right now. So I'm just going to not, I'm going to not over trade this Friday. Yeah, I'm just chilling. I mean, I'm still in the BYFC. See if it's going to push back up. But other than that, I'm going to try to sit on my hands. and. If we get a higher low on you and the UK, I might add to my short a little bit. But I don't know. I am keeping the uh, IMRN on, on watch. It's a low float. Previous runner. Squeezed up today from 7 to 16. Pulled back. 11 hit $28 freaking June 9th so alright Union OK is open Jesus alright I gotta take some profits down here can't just sit here and not take profits alright I took a little bit off one third off I'm gonna try to get an ad at 5:24 on UNEK on my short. 
Cohen's pulling back, looks like. U O N E holding over 45. Man, this thing is going to be an amazing short when it finally does give it up. It's probably going to go to $100 today. It might. <laughs> it, it might. I mean, think I mean, Trade Ideas has their float under a million, so when you got when you got stocks with floats under a million, anything is possible. Anything yeah, can that's why happen. I, still, I don't know if I mentioned it to you at all, but I still have uh, 10 shares of DUO. Duo. I remember that one. That one went to like 100 itself, didn't it? Yeah, that's why I held 10 shares. I have 10 shares at 10 bucks. So $100 position, basically. How weird. And it just sold off. Because I'm hoping to wake up one morning and I said $100 again. So my $100 turns into $1,000. That would be amazing. Wow, you and you okay? It's going lower. Looks like about to get through 480. Maybe. Uh, now I'm waiting for data. Son of a bitch. You're waiting for yeah, what? Oh, data? I'm waiting for data. <clears throat> oh, there it's good. Why does Snickers phone gotta be stupid like that sometimes? Cash says WKS or W WKHS is that VWAP. WK WKHS. Damn it. I seen that yesterday. I think it was running after hours. Oh wow. This thing's been grinding up. Running breaking out. Yep. Cash is long, I think. I'm pretty sure he is. I thought I read that somewhere and then we forgot to talk about it. Is he long? Mm. Yep, long at 436 from yesterday. Oh, nice. nice. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're looking good, dude. Did you take any profits yet? It's over VWAP. Might retest the pre-market highs up closer to six. Wow, you oh you won. Oh, rejected by fifty. Uh, looks like uh, Sykes just sold twenty five thousand shares of BBGI three sixty two. Cohen is still still halted. Card finding support at fourteen. My BY FCs consolidating nicely over VWAP for another push, hopefully.
Oh, UNEO's giving it up now. All right, since UNEO's giving it up, I added to my, I added a small piece to my, God, I hate to do this, but I added, I added basically down here at the low, and it looks like it's going to work out. I added it 480, and because I was thinking it was about to break through and start flushing, and it did, so I'm glad I added now. I hate to add into weakness, weakness like that. I only like to add into pops, but it, it, it is what it is. And it'll probably come back. Maybe I should cover some into this flush. Okay, I covered some more there. Anyways, so today's, I got my book. It used to sit on my toilet. It has a new quote every day. So today's is, everything we have, good or bad, is the result of some action we took. That sounds pretty obvious. But most people, whenever they have something bad come their way, they don't want to take responsibility for it. Here, here's a good one. Yesterday's good for the short sellers. For the for you shorts out there. This is yesterday's. Suspend disbelief. <laughs> Ain't that the truth, huh? I can't believe this would go any fucking higher. And then it goes higher. When you think it's not gonna go any higher, it probably does. I actually think that to myself sometimes when I'm buying along. And I'm like, man, this can't go any higher. And then I'm like, yeah, I probably will. All right, I'll buy. Because that's where it's going. And that's where Henry's helped me out a lot on the long side. Because he's a long bias trader. So he's always thinking everything's going to go up. But after a while, I, I started taking more longs. I started buying some longs whenever in the past I wanted to short those spots. So that's kind of helped me suspend. And a lot of time you sell too, too soon. Oh, most every time. I mean, just think about it yesterday. Dude, I was long. I think my average yesterday, I think I had like a, I can't remember, I had like an 11, 11, like 50 average or something like that, 1160. And Christ, it's at $42 right now. I mean, if I would have just held like even a hundred shares. I was long 750 shares too from that price tag. Oh, it's like, I wish I would have held 250 shares. There's no reason to sell either. There was no, there was no indication on yesterday's price action on you, on you one to sell. It was holding overview at the entire day. I don't know what my fear was. I couldn't lose in the trade. Uh, one day, I'm going to set my stop loss. I'm going to let the bitch run. Oh, Ber Bertie's late to the party. Morning, guys. Crazy that's, volatility that's again today. Uh, that's basically what I did with Cohen. I put my stop loss because it was so... Whippy. I think I put my stop loss at like, I don't know, six bucks or something, something way far off. Never hit it, and so I just kept me in it. Yep, and it's bouncing right now. Yeah, Cohen, we do, I mean, yeah, Bertie, we got some, uh, we do got some, uh, nice volatility this morning. It's like my ex girlfriend's emotions just going crazy today. Okay, notice it said ex girlfriend, not wife, okay? The wife is very stable. She's just expensive. But at least she takes care of the kids. And daddy. CHCI hitting the high day scanner. 
ALPN hitting the high A day scanner. ALPN is another one of those that you can't that you have to call in on E-Trade, which is annoying. So I'm just going to take that one off. BBGI continues to go up. It's breaking out on the daily too, BBGI. So this one's getting interesting to me. BBGI. This one, if you look at the daily chart on BBGI, it's breaking out on the daily. Very, very, and it's that's an intraday. That's a that's a multi-day, multi-month breakout. So we got different time frames aligning up, and it's and it's an intraday. So we got intraday, multi-day, multi-month breakout right now on BBGI. The float is eight point six million. Shh. 8.6 million on the float. Henry's in at 429. I love buying into strength. It's either going to run or I'm going to get out. I'm going to pull back. I'm going to risk three. Nah, I'm going to risk the. Uh, what's that low with that candle there? 407. It's 407. I'm out. Start squeezing, get some separation from VWAP, bitch. I'm gonna watch it. Maybe if it pulls back to, uh, maybe it pulls back to VWAP. Maybe I'll hop in. <laughs> we it early as soon as you would have been Tim sold. I pulled it up and I almost bought because he always sells a little too early. And I would have been, I think it was in the three. What did he sell it? Uh, he sold at. Was it 380 or something? Uh, 380s, yep. Nope, yeah. nope, so nope, nope, nope. He sold at 362. Yeah. And I almost bought it because he usually sells early because he's got a lot of shares, obviously. And he usually runs a little. I could have got in way earlier. Could be selling some into this. <laughs> Speaking of share size, that's the beauty of having a. The beauty of a smaller share size, when you're taking smaller size, you know, you can really let it's you can really let the trade work for you better. Like you can really give it wiggle room, it can bounce around, you don't get shook out, you're not so emotional between every fucking tick, you know? And you can widen your risk up a whole lot more when you got smaller share size. Yeah, I'm, I'm more I'm more comfortable right now in my share size, my positions and that than I was a while ago when I was trading a lot more shares. I, I had my... I not as much, but whatever. My, uh, my first two weeks of June, uh, I got absolutely... I got crushed my first two weeks of June. And actually, that book, Jonathan, um, I remember where the chapter was talking about, you know, when you're, you're winning a lot and you get this euphoric state where you're overly positive, where you feel like you can do no wrong. Well, you know... Coming into June, I was on a three-month heater where for the last three months, I was just crushing everything, you know, and I started upping my share size way too much and and then some of the setups weren't working out as well and I started fighting some of them and I one in particular, I got caught up on the front side of the move, put a big dent in the account, should have wired money out and bought that Tacoma at the beginning of June. Basically lost the vehicle, <laughs> but that's okay. So it's awareness. I'm aware of it. Um, I'm, I'm somewhat reducing my share because I did those those really big months that I had in March, April, and May. I mean, my share size wasn't. I wasn't upping it a whole lot. It wasn't anything crazy. And then I started going fucking bonkers. So now I'm kind of chilling out a little bit. What's the matter? Oh, that's C Chi Chi. I freaking missed Chi Chi. Before VWAP. Damn it. All right, B B B G I. I'm thinking about buying right here at four on this pullback. I really like the fact that it's breaking out on multiple time frames. So.
I'm going to watch it and see what it does. Yeah, it took me out at the 407, so I got it up in case it stays above VWAP. All right, I'm in at 403. Trend is still there. And it's pulling back some. I'm going to test VWAP. So the multi-day breakout is, is over 395. So if we look at the multi-day breakout on BBGI, what's the catalyst? Didn't even look at that. They got to have a catalyst, don't they? Repeat and correct. Beasley Brothers broadcast shares up 4% after regular session decline. I mean, their earnings went around the 12th. Right, I'm in at 403. Yeah, 403 is my what I got in at. So we'll see if this can bounce, continue, and get over 450 on BBGI. I missed the buy of Chi Chi at 350. Piece of shit. You are the stock. <laughs> Henry didn't know how to answer that one. All right, I sold one quarter up here at uh, 421 on BBGI. Just a quarter of it. I'll hold the risk. I'm going to risk uh, three. Uh, I don't know how much I want to risk. Probably the low of this candle. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe risk VWAP. That's why I sold a little bit so I could add a little bit of profit and then it reduces my share size so I can maybe give it a little bit more wiggle room on uh because it might pull back and go dip under VWAP. Sometimes they dip under VWAP and then they grind back and come back, so U O N E K. Starting to come back a little bit. So I'm going to look to scale into this more short. I mean, there's a lot of room to bounce. I got an order to add at 524. And then I really started increasing my share size up at 573 and 602. All right, BBGI pulling back just a little bit. Wait a little. Just a little bit. See what it does here. So it's going to give it up. 270s. BBGI. I mean, BBGI is only up 46%, 45% on the day. And it's testing VWAP. Okay, I added a little bit. Those shares back that I sold up at, in the 420s, I added those back up at 390.
WKHS going sideways for you there, Palkesh. Putting in a bull flag. 524. So it's going to rip one way or the other soon. That means Henry's getting bored. One day we were sitting there bored and he started, he made up a song about asking which stock was going to pay him today. How did it go? I forget. I don't remember how it went, but it was funny. It made me laugh. You remember that? That is the oh, once a day to make Brian laugh. It was a very desperate sounding song. <laughs> I don't remember how it went, but it was funny. All right, we're holding VWAP on BBGI. Reclaim that four dollars. There we go. All right. Maybe we can get over 450 one day. I mean, if you look at it on the daily chart, okay, the volume is there. I mean, we're kind of lacking a catalyst. There's no immediate catalyst, but but earnings can can usually extend for multi days or whatever. Can go on for a while, so the volume's there, the chart's nice, the chart's there, it's spiking up. C V C chart volume catalyst. Catalyst is a little iffy, but We'll see if this will. This trade might work out. All right, we're getting a pop up to 420. <laughs> For all my weed smokers out there, can we get over 420? Mm. To sell some or not to sell? That is the question. Uh, what do you think, Henry? Look at this. I think we might get over 450. Are we going to get over 450 with this stock, Henry, with BBGI? Yes, sir. Yep, sir. Love it when he tells me what I want to hear. Okay. I don't want to know the truth. I just want you to tell me what I want to hear. That's it. Okay? I always tell my wife that. I'm like, babe, you don't want the fucking truth. You just want me to tell you what you want to hear. So you feel good inside. No, I want the truth. But Henry's not lying. Look at that. We're going to 450. Okay? Now you got to hold because it just made second high a day. It's breaking through. It's a over... I mean, it's pushing through the double top, so... Henry says I have to hold. It's going to $5. Oh. Falling it right now. Oh! Just let me sell a little bit. All right, I sold just a tad. Just a little. I only sold 100... I only sold 125 shares, Henry. That's only like a... That's All like right. a... That's like a 16th so of my position. Loss. Put your stop loss at 415 and forget about it. All right, I had to sell just a little bit more there at 4 What if it gets rejected here at 450? If it gets rejected here at 450 and then it just pulls back and just comes back, I'm going to be so butthurt. I had to sell just a tad bit. So now, okay, look. I I sold We'll sell into the 490 push. I'm not going to sell anything now. Now I'm just going to hang out. I'm going to hang out and I'm going to let it spike. And then it's going to roll over and I'm going to turn a winner into a loser. Okay? I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. Uh, yeah, I will sell some here at five. Just a little bit. Did you... Are you in? Are yeah, you I'm in from 410. Of course you are. Henry's always in. This morning he texted me. I woke up and I was just, my phone's, I woke, the only reason I got up is because Henry's, my phone started dinging. And Henry's like, ding, ding, every two minutes. Finally, I get up and I look at my phone. Henry's long, like, the entire stock market. 
<laughs> Seriously, man. I was like, holy shit. I roll in on four stocks. And three out of the four made me money, so. I said, Jesus, you're long everything today. And then he puts LOL. I was like, I'm just getting out of bed, man. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Oh, yeah, I forgot to sell up here in the 490s, damn it. I have my stop loss set at 440. Fuck that. You know what I'm doing? I'm going to add. I'm going to add to my position. Which, it seems like every time I do that on the live stream, add to the winner, it doesn't work. <laughs> but, I mean, we're going to pull back. I'm going to try to add here in like the 440s. Just a little bit. I'll add it like four. I'm going to add it at 455. Put an order at 450. 452. 455. Right here. Bye. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do that I haven't done in a while. I added. I'm just going to put my stop, stop loss in at my entry at 410 now since it's well above it and see what it does here for the next few minutes. My my new entry my my now my new cost bias is four thirteen after my ad. Damn it! Look at this fucker. Now it's really giving it up. Well, no, not really. It's pulling back to the uh, the breakout area. So let's see if it confirms the breakout. Maybe I should add some more right here. Should I add more right here? Tell me yes. Somebody tell me yes. Bye. Oh, I don't think I, nope, I didn't get it. I put order in, oh, I got it, 451, I added. Okay, I'm not adding any more. My new, my new average is 419. I already booked some of it, so I'm just going to put my stop loss in at 419. And we'll see how high it can go. Can't lose on the trade. If I did lose on the trade, uh, it's time to quit today. BBGI U U O N E sympathy play same sec. Oh, I didn't know they were in the same sector. I didn't even correlate. Let's see. Uh, BBGI is a. Beasley Broadcast Group, radio stations. Yep, radio networks. You are absolutely correct. Excellent observation there, D22. Thank you so much. This is what I like about having, doing a live stream and or being in chat rooms, trading with a community is because sometimes people make things aware to you that you are not even thinking of. So, with that being said... The chart is there, the volume is there, and really, even though there's no, they didn't put out a press release today or anything like that, it's still a catalyst because it's sector momentum. And from my experience, sector momentum is probably one of the most powerful catalysts that we can possibly get. Sector momentum, earnings uh, are huge, but yeah, sector momentum is, if it might be, if not one of the best catalysts. Sector momentum is huge. Uh, yes. What is it? A rising tide lifts all boats. Isn't that what they say? Here, Timothy Sykes says, wanted bigger position on BBGI the second time, but it just keeps going. And I didn't want to chase it. You know what? You know what also helps me sometimes to be patient? is to look at the five minute chart. Look at the five minute chart. How's the five minute chart look for you? Oh. Looks okay. I want another squeeze up to five. I'm sad I didn't get to sell any of it at 495. I was too busy running my mouth instead of focusing.
Anyone in anything. That's what Henry said. <laughs> uh, and today is June... Juneteenth day? I don't get it. Juneteenth? Juneteenth? Today's June 19th. In any event, all right, 460s. Oh, I mean, it's probably going to pull back to VWAP. My VWAP's 404. I don't know. I kind of want to risk the low of this camp. It's going to pull back there. Yeah, it looks like it's setting up to make another push. Tell me more, Henry. I like what I'm hearing now. Look at it. I mean, the candles, the wicks are getting bought up. Yeah, it looks like we might that go to engulfing. five right now. We're going yeah, to that engulfing green candle. Look at it. We're going to five, bitches. Told ya. I told you so. Come on, let's go to five. Meanwhile, my BYFC's making a run. Squeeze, mother. All right, I sold some up, some more up there at 480. So how many shares you got total right now? Uh, now I only have 625, which is super small for me because normally I like taking like. Well, on a four or five dollar stock, I, if I'm really confident in the setup, I'd like to take like two to three thousand. But I'm reducing my share size, so I'm not so freaked out by every tick. Yeah, my colon regained VWAP for over $20 again. $21. Squeeze, mother. Wow, yeah. Cohen held that $17.50 like a champ. Dude, I don't know what I'm going to do if, if for some god awful god reason it goes to 47 I'm going to, like, I'm going to have to celebrate. Yep. That means we're going to the casino. Look at my BYFC. We're going to donate to them. BYFC. Setting up so nice. BYFC. Yeah. Wow, that was a good dip buy. It spiked up, failed, and then now it's bouncing. Look at that, we're over five. We're going to six. We're going to six. Oh. The reason I say it's going to six, look at it, it's an engulfing green candle again, blew right through five. Like it didn't hit five right at five and get slapped down, it hit five fifteen, and it's getting bought up. So that's a good sign that has a seventy percent chance to go to six. Okay, oh, hold on. When you say the engulfing green candle, are you talking about on the one minute chart? Are you talking about this candle right here that just yeah, broke yeah. out over five? Let's look at yeah. the let's look at the five minute chart. This is it's probably gonna. Oop, that's not the five minute chart. All right, so there's the five. Yeah, we've got nothing but green candles. This is a 52 week high. This is a breakout. There's, so there's like no, no restrictions. Like, I mean, this could go to ten dollars. Not saying it's gonna. I'm just saying, you know, that's the potential is higher for it to go higher because. Henry, Henry said it's. Henry said it could go to ten. Okay, he's been hanging out. You could tell he's been hanging out in the Weeble chat room. No, I've been just, I've been watching YouTube videos and studying on the the meaning of each, like the candles more specific, like ah. break out that engulfing green candle, it squeezed up, it pushed up a little higher, and then it got pulled back, and then the second red candle at 9.13 held that first green engulfing candle, and it 
and it held, and then it just kept going. So it's setting up the same kind. If you look at the minute candle at 9.13 and 9.20, now this is the same, it's set up the same way. So if, if this candle right here doesn't go below 4.72, it has a potential to push up again. I know I might have explained that really fast, but. Let me pull up the uh, one minute chart because I had the five minute chart up. So but I like a three hour play. I understand 100% what you're saying. I mean, if dude, on the five minute chart, this is nothing. The trend is in full, fully intact. You can draw a line from the bottom, underneath all of these, and it's just complete. And it's over VWAP. There's separation from VWAP, which is very bullish. Nothing but green candles. I'm thinking it's probably going to pull back and consolidate over 450. I mean, it could even just push right here too. Actually, it could still go up more. I think it pulls back a little, consolidates over fifty, and then maybe goes higher. Here comes a pullback. Dang it, I didn't get an ad. You want it to hold at least like 465, 470. That'd be a good sign that it's going to push higher. I don't want it to pull back all the way to 450. When I, I just wrote on my notepad a little thing here. Um, So I watched a video the other a, a while ago, within the well, past week, that breaks down the candle wicks and it's legitimate, like it makes sense. And I'm I'm still learning a little bit on it, but I'll, I'll if I find it, you should be able to go on YouTube and find like your recently watched videos, right? Oh yeah, you just go to your library on on your YouTube channel or in your YouTube yeah. account. I'll send you the link, and then watch it it's like 15 minute video sweet i could use a refresher on the candlesticks another uh another good one for learning the actually youtube be easier and it's free but when i was first learning the japanese candlesticks i read steve neeson's book uh steve neeson's japanese candlesticks that's a really good book on explaining the candlesticks i'll be right back i'm gonna grab a cup of coffee Why Brian's grabbing a coffee. So Brian's in Cohen from 1780. Nice. Did you sell any? Any end of that push? Or are you holding on? setting up a nice bull flag. I think it's going to squeeze again past five here and go. Yeah, I was just watching Carve too. It's, I mean... Pull it back up here. I mean, uh, it's looking so nice. I'm so.
actually bought it. I forgot. So yeah, yeah, I bought it yesterday pre-market at nine fifty. I'm mad because I seen it like seven starting to push. I bought it at nine fifty, and then I held it till I sold it after hours last night at fourteen fifty. I wish I would have. Well, I still made good money on it, but it's it's setting up nicely. So, I mean, it does look like it has a potential. It could it could squeeze again here. It's trying to reclaim VWAP right now. I mean, if it breaks that previous pop of over 16, I mean, definitely could go make its way to $20. Twenty dollar, make it holler. I'm running a train. I'm trading. 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 It makes the monies. Make the money. Yeah. For my play set. <laughs> Make the monies for your play set. Yeah. We already did that. Now it's time to make the monies for Daddy's new truck. All right. Where's your truck? It's, it's in my mind right now. Okay, soon to manifest itself in the driveway. Right? Say, yeah, of course. Of course. We were just talking about uh, every, what's everybody's in, Bayern's in, Cohen and Carve, and I was telling them yesterday I was in Carve. Yesterday, pre-market, 950. I sold it after hours at 1450 yesterday, but it's setting up nicely today. I mean, it's just trading close to the BWAP line. Like, I mean... BYFC just hit six dollars. Yeah. Wow. I forgot about it because I was watching this uh, DVGI. Oh, Ugh, got slapped down though. That's all right. We're at fifty-four million in volume, so let's see. Nine thirty. All right, BBGI is pulling back. My new average now on it is 434 after my sales up in up at five. So I'm gonna just put my stop loss at 434. Hopefully it holds right here in the over 450. I put a stop loss in at 429. I'll lose five cents on it. I don't want to put it 434. I'd like to put it above or below, like, you know, like 10 cents. Or really, I like whole dollar, half dollars. But because it might, I don't know, it could pull back to 430 and then hold. VWAT's 427, so really, I should put it under that. I should put it under like maybe like 424, but I don't want to risk that much. I don't want to give hardly any back. All 
I got a little tiny ad on U1K at 490. And it's continuing to break down. So, as long as this one stays heavy, stays under VWAP, I'm going to put my stop loss on this one probably at, well, actually, I'd probably put it at high day. Because if it comes up, comes back closer to high day in the 540s, 520s, 530s, 550s, I'd probably short more up here and then risk high day. But yeah, as long as this stays heavy, stays under VWAP, I'm probably going to swing this to Monday, the U1K. But, I mean, this could definitely, it could still come back. I got a good average on this, so. Spy is just freaking tanking. Sometimes. Not going long anymore stocks. So the spy be oops. Wow. Spy is going down, isn't it? Hmm. Let me look at the spy. S P Y. Wow. Let's look at the daily chart. That's an incredible bounce, though. Look at that. Off of 218 all the way back to 320. Jesus. Incredible. Yeah, but like, so, like, Cohen and Carve, I don't know what U1's doing. I don't have that up on the chart, but they definitely follow the spy, and it's crashing, so they're going down. Oh, <laughs> uh, we looked at the lyrics to the to that Nelly song. What's the name? I like to sing it, but I don't know it. He didn't know the words. I was like, Is, "Are those the words?" He used to sing the words, and I I was like, "Are those the words?" And he's like, "A country grammar is the name of the song by Nelly." And I said, "No, that made the words. I just mumble." So, so I looked up the lyrics, and uh, and so now he's actually trying to use the lyrics. But I still mess it up because I don't remember. Where are the lyrics at? But that's all right. Uh, Nelly. I yeah, I would play the song, but YouTube gets pissed if you play a. Yeah, YouTube gets mad if you play uh, a song. I did it one time and they, you know. Yeah, the the rights. yeah. country grammar lyrics. Needless to say, it was not even close to what I was always singing. Uh, yeah, he says, mm, I'm going down, down, baby. Yo, street in a Range Rover. Street sweeper baby, cocked ready, cocked ready to let it go. Shimmy shimmy cocoa what? Listen to it pound. Light it up, take a puff, pass it to me now. There you go. That's that's the name of it. Or that's not the name of it, but that's how it goes. The way he makes it sound, he does a lot better. That's so weird. I'm going down, down, baby. Yo, street in a Range Rover. Street sweeper, baby. Cox ready to let it go. Hmm. I wonder where he came up with that. Cocked? Like C-O-C-K-E-D? Yeah, cocked. I think cocked like, cocked with like a gun. Yeah. 
cocked, ready to let it go. Such a positive influence on the younger generation. <laughs> he goes, mm, I'm going down, down, baby. Yo street in a Range Rover. That part screws me up. Street sweeper, baby. Cocked, ready to let it go. I don't know. He makes it, he makes it flow, you know. He definitely makes it flow, yeah. He, he makes it flow, but whenever I do it, it doesn't come out at all right. It doesn't, it doesn't roll off your tongue. It doesn't roll off the tongue at all. It, like, fumbles. Boom. BYFC's holding over six. Look at that. <laughs> BYFC. It Jeez. Doing. It's saying, I go the opposite of the market. Wow, look at that. We just hit over 61 million volume. I look at the daily on this. Man. All the way up from a dollar. No? Two bucks. Patience paid off here. Yes, it did. But I'm not going to get greedy. I got my stop loss set. I mean, I don't want it to. Like I said, I'm in from 350, so I got my stop loss set at 525. Uh, Sykes says. Sykes says, uh, BBGI. I wouldn't dip by this third time. Heading into midday, only potential buy if we get some real panic down to four. Hopefully, it doesn't go back down to four. Let's pull back to VWAP a little bit more. Hopefully, this can keep some separation from VWAP. That's what I'm praying for. Yeah. So, I'm working with BBGI. I put the stop loss in at 429. And if it takes me out, it takes me out. I still uh, booked a nice, healthy win. Today, we are closing the week up over 2,000 right now and working on two winners with my... BBGI and my U1K. U1K, if it stays heavy, if, as long as it stays heavy, stays under VWAP, I'm going to swing this to Monday. If it starts to come back, if it starts to come back and gets over VWAP, then I will cut the trade and then watch it and potentially short it up near um, the pre market highs. And risk the pre-market highs. Um, uh, spy. More ass whipping on the spy. The spy's just giving it up. It's Friday too. Hope you guys got some big plans for the weekend. Our water parks in Iowa opened up. So I'm going to take my kids to the water park sometime soon. I think it's supposed to rain this weekend. It is raining right now. So Father's Day is this weekend. So happy Father's Day to those of you out there that are fathers. Even if you own a dog. You still got responsibility for a life. Okay, Father's Day. It's definitely uh, a lot of work being a father. So happy Father's Day out there, Matt Alvarado. You no, know, Matt's got a couple of kids. He's got a couple of boys that, damn, they're almost grown, huh? Your kids are like, what, like? Like 12 and 13 or 11. They're big. So Matt's been in the grind with... I'm just starting, man. I can't wait till my kids get a little bit older. Well, my daughter, she's a lot of fun. She's over two and a half. But when they're under one years old, I hate the baby shit. I'm so excited to be out of the wiping ass stage. But it'll be Look cool. At that. BYFC. Woo. Wow. BYFC still going. All right, now I gotta move my stop loss up to six dollars. Damn, oh, five, Henry. Five ninety. BYFC. Okay, not that I'm going to, but I just want to check 
and see if there's shares to short. Please say no. Please say no. Please say no. Let's see here. There are no shares to short at this time. There you go. Thanks, babe. Hell yeah. I'm sh I mean, I only got 60 shares left, but... Hell yeah. Actually, man, this looks like a long to me. <sighs> EYFC? Yes, it does. The fact that it's if it pulls back to 6 and holds and consolidates over 6... Look at that. So, you know, it spiked up, it pulled back, and then now it's grinded back, and it's got this support right here. See in the 590s where it consolidated? So if it pulls back to 6 and holds over 6, I don't know, maybe I'll get in. I'm not. I'm going to be done. I told myself I'm going to be done. I'm going to go... You know, I got to go back. I got to go to work later today. Well, that's right. Today you're opening, huh? Yep. So, yeah. So today's uh, yep. Today's a big day. I got stuff to do. I can't be trading all freaking day like I have been through the COVID. This is probably a good thing though, the fact that I need to cut myself off at like 10 a.m. Right, Henry? Yeah, because like I said, we've been. I mean, I told you I look back and all the paper cuts I took over the last month or two has been basically after 9 30, 10 o'clock, and. Well, there's a reason why Sykes and the other gurus are always saying, don't midday trade. You know? Dude, I'm loving this BBGI. Look at it. It's consolidating, holding, holding, separating, separated from VWAP. That's nice. Cons and that's another reason I got this job because, well, obviously because I'm bored, but, um, and that way I don't have to pay for my health insurance, so that's just more money I'll be making every month, but it'll, it'll get me away from the, the screens. <sighs> yeah, overtrading is, can, can be really bad. Now, don't get me wrong, we've caught some, you know... Midday runners. One, you know, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, but they're honestly far in the very few and far in between and I probably lost more midday trading than I made so all you need is just one all all you need is one or two really good trades every day I mean for me I've only had two today I've only had two trades well yes I've scaled in and I've bought and sold but I mean I've only traded two stocks I've traded U1K and BBGI Oh, I'm so happy I didn't get stubborn with U1 yesterday on my short. Thank yeah. God. Thank fucking God. And when I cut the trade in my mind, in my mind I was thinking to myself, this is probably going to gap down tomorrow and I'm probably going to be pissed tomorrow because I could have held and at least got even or made money on the trade. But... This thing is held up all day long. It's held up all day long. And anything can happen. Anything can happen. It doesn't matter what you think is going to happen. Anything can happen. And I didn't want the overnight risk. And I'm glad I cut the trade. Thank God I cut the trade. And it wasn't doing what I wanted anyway, so if it's not doing what I want, I should get out. That's right. There's no need to be stubborn with it because there's going to be another opportunity tomorrow. And there was. I woke up to a great opportunity. I woke up to U1K fucking hitting six something. Henry's like, I'm selling at six. I'm like, oh, wow, that thing's at six? Perfect. Henry sent me the most perfect alert. He's, he told me he's selling at 6, and I was like, sweet, now I can short. And I got it at 
I think this BBGI is going to go higher. It's touching VWAP right now. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe that's just me wanting it to go higher. <laughs> Maybe that's just me wanting it to go higher. I don't know. I don't even care. If it hits my risk, it hits my risk. If it doesn't and it keeps going, great. Fantastic. Look at that. Seven, dude, on this Seven BYFC. Dollars. Seven rips. Congratulations, Henry. I'm just moving my stop loss up. You've had a nice week, haven't you, Henry? Well, I took two. two I mean, if I saw this right now, I'd be up just over a about 1400 this week. Nice. And see, that's a big difference. Like, said, you're like at two grand, and you take position size five, ten times more than I do. But I just hit the right ones with them small positions, you know, and you never know. And, and I, I made almost as much as you did. But generally, it's not that way. I mean, you usually make five times as much as I do. <laughs> you know what? It doesn't, it doesn't, what? Really? Okay, so like in Barry's chat room, he doesn't even announce position sizes. Or he doesn't announce uh, how much money he's making. And I agree with that, but I don't agree with it. Because, I mean, whenever you start announcing how much you're making and what your position size is, how many shares you have, you know, or you hear other people doing that, you start comparing yourself to them. And yeah. really, you don't want to compare yourself. You want to you want to do you, because everyone's situation, everyone's account is different. Everyone's emotional state is different with their share size. So you just got to trade you and not really compare yourself to other people. You know, yeah, do what's comfortable for you. But I do agree with over time as your account grows, pushing that envelope just a little bit with share size. It just but. It really doesn't matter as long as you're taking good trades. True. I mean, I'm seeing the setups, you know. I mean, I could have, yeah, I mean, I definitely could have made a shit ton more money, but I wouldn't have been as comfortable. Watching the price go up and down, up and down. So I would have got probably taken out on a lot of trades, you know? Where there's a lot of trades I held patient, half an hour, hour, and then finally came back for me or whatnot, you know what I mean? BYFC's pulling back a little bit. All right, fellas. Uh, I got to get going. It's been a fun live stream. Um, I got I got stuff to do today. But we'll be back Monday. Thank you guys for hey, showing up. Let uh, us know what your business is. <laughs> uh, I own a bar, and I also uh, own a couple of uh, a couple of buildings that I lease to other businesses. Um, and that's it. So, but yeah, so back to work. Um, but yeah, we'll see you guys Monday. I gotta roll Monday, out. Monday. Have a good weekend, guys.